Hey, this is Tamara, signing on with the final part of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Okay, so last time we took the fight to the castle into Calamity Ganon. We, with the help of Rome and everyone else, we fought towards the castle, getting closer and closer. I missed up, forgot to buy stuff. Getting closer and closer, and now we're on what I think is the very final mission. So we're gonna wrap this up. Hold on, where's Rome? We'll up him just a tiny bit. Okay, um, where were we? Okay, yeah. Uh, the future of Hyrule. Final mission. Oh, damn it. I was gonna do a mission and I completely forgot. I got distracted by text. Okay, whatever. I can just still take that. Huge damage, bo damage bonus to fight the last boss. Or whatever is gonna happen here. Oops. Hold on, I have not messed with anyone's weapons in a while. Okay, that's still the strongest thing she's got. Fine, we'll do something. Okay, yeah, we should be set. Yeah, I made a bunch of food to go do a mission, and I completely forgot I was going to do that. Oh, well, let's wrap this up. Because after this mission, that should be it. It should unlock everything else, I think. All of you despicable pests. And yeah, there's the... This version of... Whoever he is. Did we ever get a name? I can't remember. That's pretty cool. I don't even remember your name, guy. Through their perseverance, Link and the others overcame the monsters who had been revived by the Blood Moon, thus clearing the way to Hyrule Castle. Before them, a final confrontation awaited. The Wizard Man. That would determine the fate of all Hyrule. How might it end? I mean, it's like... Almost two dozen of us versus him. I say almost, a dozen and a half. Something like that. Eight, four... There's a lot. Let's just see how many people are going across the screen right now. Got Link, Impa, Zelda, Mifa, Daruk, Rivali, Urboza, Hets, Hestu, Hetsu, um... Sidon, Yonobo, Taba, Riju, we got Koga, and then there's Rome. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, 17 characters. <laughs> yeah, Great Fairies and the Monk. I keep forgetting his name. Okay, here we go. Future of Hyrule. I saw this little cove here and was thinking maybe there'd be a Korok. I've not been looking for Koroks lately. Okay. Anyways, better gonna move on. Defeat Astor and Harbinger Ganon. Okay. Oops. Stat Moblin, Stat Moblin, Stout, Stout Nox. Lots of enemies. Okay, that somehow worked out. Hello? 
A valiant effort, but meh. Okay, yeah, how do we get around? Just the patter of all the bodies hitting the ground. Wait. New- well, wait, hold on. Haha, <laughs> I stopped your lightning. Figure we just clear out the room. Uh, armored Porgy. We'll find these Ganons, we'll eventually take them out. There we go, there's the Water Blight. Holy crap, he's big. We already knew this, but... He's not much bigger than we've seen him before, but it's just it's worth noting. I don't know why I thought that would do a ton of damage. Oh, hey, Zelda. Thanks for showing up, but I got it. Some mal swamps have disappeared. Good progress. Uh, the next one. Oh, it must be on another level. Because looking at it. Oops. Okay, um, Rome is near one. Guys, help out! Okay, yeah, Rome is just too weak to do much damage. Zelda and Impa found the Guardian. Did it work? Oh. I wasn't even sure if I did the thing. I can't move. Okay, Link's here. We'll just take him out. Just take them all out. Thank you, Link, for showing up just in time. Savage Lionel Crusher. Okay, cool. Uh, Impa.
health. Barely caught a minute. I am Come on, we can take it out. <clears throat> that felt like it did much less damage than last time. Actually, I suppose it was stacked with the um, the stasis and all the other damage we were doing. Frame rate. There's a lot of particle effects going on with this creature and everything else. Take him out with this. There we go. Devoted Kadachi, okay. Uh, for some reason I'm confused. There we go. Oh, we like just dis disappear for a second. That was some weird, like disappearing. Oh, it's above us. Um, how the heck? Sorry, I'm confused. Okay, like this. There, fire blight it up, snuff out this flame. Feed Aster and Harbinger again. Okay, I suppose they're separate. There's Aster. I will sever your thread once and for all. Mm. <laughs> That's not what he sounds like. Yeah, Lincoln Rome got this. Zelda and Impa should have the other half of this.
There we go. Master Koga and the allies have hidden his allies have appeared. Whatever. Okay, barely nicked Aster with that. Just roams overbearing like, oh, I'm gonna get you. should take him out actually okay story of my trump was written long ago how dare you try to efface it guy you don't even appear as withdrawn for now whatever Zelda yes well she wouldn't be fighting anything yet Harbinger Ganon, Catalyst of the Calamity. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah, this is a really cool looking design. Very interesting look for a guardian. Honestly, it kind of makes me think Harbinger Ganon. I suppose it's like a more... How do I put it? You know, the um, lights are just like um, collections of malice. You know, with guardian-like aspects, I guess you can say. But it's primarily like Ganon's malice. This is like reverse. It is guardian first, malice second. And it kind of looks like a small guardian based version of Ganon um, in Breath of the Wild, like his first phase of his final boss. Just like the look of it's really similar and interesting. So that's something. I wasn't a big fan of that final boss just because it seemed really simple when I walked into it very unprepared. But, you know, it was also just basically like all the blights mashed into one, which kind of is what this looks like. Harbinger Ganon has withdrawn for now. Yay. The Malice Swamp has disappeared. Uh, I am Calamity Ganon's right hand! Mm, sorry. I'm being very dismissive of this guy. Oops, I'm getting stuck. So now we fight them in the same room at the same time, or...? Or are they gonna mute four, fuse into one? That's gonna be a thing. You failed me, Astor. How? The great Calamity Ganon selected me! This humiliation cannot be my destiny! It cannot be! Hear me, Calamity Ganon! It's time for you to devour these! These... Oop, there he goes.
Well, as if he was going to use for anything else. Oh, jeez. Come on, guy. <sighs> He's so tiny and cute, though. Well... <clears throat> This is sad. New objective, defeat the controlled guardian. Aw. <clears throat> Little buddy. Oh. Zelda's not even helping. She's just so sad and shocked. That's fair. No, nope, we gotta do something. I thought it'd be in water enough for me. I should have realigned it. This feels bad. It'd be like at the end of, like, um... It's like at the, if you, you at the end of, like, Jedi Fallen Order just had to beat the crap out of BB-1. So sad. Well, time to fry your circuits. Well, there goes our little bud. Just put them up and so everyone can see. This is what happens when you go against us. No, that's sad, though. A cute little droid. Against his will. You didn't have to watch the entire time. The whole reason the future was saved in the first place. Even though technically in that first cutscene, he brought some of the malice with him. trying to play the song you just hear like the scratching and breaking of his parts it's so sad Zelda putting him together. So Mother, cute. Look, look. Was that a quick glimpse of her or Mother? It happened so fast. Terrico, right, okay. Calamity has been foretold. As the Princess of Hyrule, your sole focus must be on your training. A toy such as this is merely a distraction. Please. You just get worse every time we hear you talk, Rome. I'm sorry. Mm. 
well, and he just, that's how Calamity Ganon was able to take that, or, um, out, or, you know, you get the point. That's why there's a dark mode version of it here in this world, is because it got corrupted, probably partially because of Rome's attitude here, and it just stuck, and then that's kind of why it was, like, just, like, ignored, sealed away, and that's how it got out in order to get out here in the first place. Okay, glad I split split this up now. <laughs> All right. So yeah, Tarako. Okay. So many stairs. So yeah, Rome. You know, never very supportive, and they just kind of got forgotten. And maybe that's why Terrico either turned evil or was just like was corrupted by Calamity Ganon. And then in the original timeline, you know, Terrico just is not a thing. And but he well, it implies like a lot of stuff, you know, some of these aspects were part of the original game, but you know, those things don't affect the timeline. So I've got thoughts on that. Let's finish up. Calamity again, hatred, hatred and malice incarnate. That looks cool. That looks like a like Street Fighter Akuma mixed with actually, oh god, what's the damn thing called? It's in um, Osiris Wrath. It's like one of the final bo bosses of the base. It's the final boss of the base game, not the DLC included. But oh god, the Goma ch creature from the center of the planet. I don't remember its name right now, and it's bugging me, because that's one of my favorite games. Uh, oh! I was thinking maybe light would hit it, but maybe not. Okay, uh, what do we gotta do? Please tell me that's an unlockable character. It's gotta be, right? Damn, this is a good shield. Oh, there he goes. Come on, buddy, you can do it. <laughs> I didn't rip off all your legs. Hey! Do it. Keep going. Oh, jeez. I wonder if that was going to be her to try and seal herself away along with Kit Calamity Ganon, but with Tar Tarako, it was able to maybe destroy his barrier. There's a lot going on right now. Making a lot of assumptions. can hurt him, and Link's got the strongest attack power, so I'm just gonna use him. Ooh, 
so yeah, that is a really cool version of Calamity Ganon. Why couldn't we have fought that in Breath of the Wild, honestly? Like, I didn't... Didn't care much for, like, the bosses of Breath of the Wild. Like, the Blights were cool, but they were all just kind of, like, the same thing. With, like, not that much to differentiate them. And, you know, I get that's kind of the point, but it still was just sort of like... You just kind of got to do the same tactics, like... The, the Blights all need the same tactics as the Guardians and everything else. And then when you fight Calamity Ganon, as long as you... Which you can tackle at any time, but if you tackle him after, you know, taking care of the Divine Beast and everything, then he's... You got an advantage. But I went in completely on accident to the boss fight, and it still was able to just will him down and beat him without much thought. And it was just like, he's just like the Blights all mashed into one. So that's kind of not that interesting of a battle compared to everything else. And then meanwhile, the second phase, it was also just sort of like, well, it's kind of scripted, which I get, and it's cool. And the final shot, I jumped off my horse and fired like the perfect final shot. But, you know, not necessarily a challenge considering like how hard the rest of the game is at times. So didn't much care for like the final run of Breath of the Wild, that final, like, boss fight, but, and hey, this, speaking of final boss fight, this is actually where the battle took place, but, you know, it, I shouldn't be too hard on Breath of the Wild, because I had way more going for it than negative, so, that's fair. just barely nicked his heel, I think. No, yeah, that it looks like Asura from Asura's Wrath if he just got, like, mixed up with the Goma, um, the Goma, uh, and their Goma monsters. It's really cool. I like it. Building up for the final shot. Seal. I was hoping he'd have, like, something else. See, you even take um, Calamity Ganon out the same way you do the Blights with your special attack. Shut up, Ravali. Feels appropriate to have that play during this whole thing. And I also get like, you know, this whole Calamity Ganon is just sort of like the most primal version of Ganon as a being, as an entity. So it's really all just like it's primordial, it's just like his anger, hatred, and rage, the malice, and it's just like, that's all he is, and it's only when, like, you know, it's like the most basic form of Ganon, but that doesn't make him a super compelling antagonist throughout the game, because it's just sort of like, I'm just a cloud of vague darkness, and, you know, maybe later I'll eventually become Ganondorf and be interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling and ranting as they're wrapping up. But there we go! They actually managed to seal them. Seal him. So is this gonna be just sort of like... Does this get rid of him for good? Is he sealed away permanently? Or at least long enough where there's gonna be so much more preparation done for if he ever returns. Either way, pretty good. I was really hoping he would just say, like, first time Link speaks and it's just telling Zelda good job or something. 
I want Link to have a voice actor, gen genuinely. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, they gotta go. Well then, it seems the time has come. I could not be prouder. It was an honor to be of service. Nice job, guys. I know you'll lead our people well. Lead you. <laughs> Thanks for everything, you know. We didn't get much time together. Always cherish it. I will too! It was so much fun. You're the best, Daruk. This has been enlightening. <laughs> I even got to see the face behind the champion. <laughs> even Roy has nothing to say. That we'll meet again, dear brother. Yes. You're my beloved sister, and our hearts will never be apart. Well, you will meet me again. There's a version of me here. <laughs> that will actually get to grow up with you. <laughs> It was cool seeing them show up. That was fun. Sorry, I got a lot of thoughts and we're almost there. As you return to your future. May the light shine upon you for all time. Oh, things are about to get bad for them again once we get this Breath of the Wild sequel. <laughs> Okay, hold on, skip credits. No defense to everyone who worked on this, they made a great game. Just see what ev everything else that unlocks. It's like we can't play as the new champions anymore. What? It's not fair, stop it. Uh, okay, a vegetable omelet, XP plus eight, all stats plus five, all stats plus 10, damage plus 10, okay, cool. I'm pulling up a list just to double check, you know, other unlockable characters or something. Yeah, looking up, check out IGN, Age of Calamity, optional characters guide. Just brings us to the main menu. Just shh, hold on. A ton more missions, obviously. Jesus, a lot to do. <laughs> There's little... Taroka characters. Does that mean we could potentially... Taroka, Taroka repairs. By collecting Asian parts and gaining the aid of people of Hyrule, you will surely be able to repair Taroka. Okay. Obtain Zelda Mifa to Rook Revali in Urbosa's attire. Oh, okay. So now we can customize them, right? Jesus Christ, what is that? <laughs> repair. What is that? Oh, we get parts. Taroka component. Yeah, how many of these do we need to unlock or fix Taroka? I feel like that leads to, like, good ending or something. Oh, all the way out there on uh, Eventide. That makes sense. That's fitting. So, yeah, probably a lot of grinding and everything else in order to unlock... Um, yeah, okay. Well, just double-checking, let's check out a complete list of... Hold on, I had the list up. I'm just buying stuff now. Perils, amount, whatever. 
because we also got upgrades again for climbing boots. We got more upgrades for, looks like our, you know, Magnesis, reduced time, that's good. Master Chef. Okay. Here's a ton of bananas. Okay. Oh, we can just keep turning in bananas in order to unlock stuff. Okay. Oh, I see. Taroko's return. We need 50 parts. Okay. So how many... Hold on. So yeah, loads of fish, loads of 50 parts. How are we going to get... What do we have now? Only seven. How are we going to get 50 parts? Does just like more unlock as we go? So just like completion is the goal. Is that what completion is? Is it unlocking Taraka? Enhanced ability. Length of your lightning gauge is doubled. Hell yes, that's awesome for her. Enhanced ability, the number of Koroks that appear has been increased. Oh my god, Do, does everybody have one something like this? It seems like everyone does. I won't stop aiming high. While flying, damage enemies in your wake. Oh, so just by flying, he does damage. This is sweet. Giant Guardian. I thought we needed the Giant Cores for something. It's you. Hmm, yes. Maybe with something. Oh, I need Vicious Monster stuff and Topaz for that. Okay. Stranger. It's coming to me. Sorry, I got thoughts to say, but now I'm thinking about like holding off, maybe doing some grinding in order to... Start going through everything, unlocking what we can. Wait, increased chance of what was that? Increased chance of finding success in fusing. Oh, okay. You get the Master Koga seal of approval. All stats 15%, but max okay. The skull Lionel mask, that looks so. What the heck is that? Probably should not sell that many lizards for a rock. Luminous stone? Why is it that expensive? Enhance ability. Your new action activated with ZR have been improved. Okay, that's cool. So increased radius or something. Special attack H plus one. Wait. Oh wait, no, no. This go gives her a third. Blacksmith discount. Anyone else flashing? There's probably like a bunch more things to enhance everyone's ability. We got cryosis. Reduce time between cryosis uses. Yeah, so now there's... Anyways, but that's the end of the game. So I think everything, you know, between... The main game is done. We still have like a ton of missions we could do on chapters. Research skills, research items. No healing items appear, no. Handle the Horde, so just like a bunch of like crazy um, extra missions to unlock more stuff. Hyrule's Greatest Warrior. Oh, hey! Does that unlock like Link's Tunic? Is that the Breath? No, that's not the Breath of the Wild Tunic. That's a different one. Because it's, um... Oh, wait, no. I, j I don't know how I realized. That's his outfit from um, uh, um, Hyrule Warriors, right? That's cool. I gotta unlock that now. I want that. I don't. I for some reason I default to the thing like, oh, that must be his to Breath of the Wild tunic that you find after doing all the shrines in the base game. No, that's in the other mission. <laughs> but yeah, now there's still like tons of missions to do. Hyrule's Greatest Warrior. Yeah, that should be his tunic. You know what? We can. Oh wait, no. We apparently can't play his Link for this. Restricted allies. Oh. Oh, because we have to fight Link. And then... Okay. Okay. I was going to say, we'll crank that out real quick just for fun, but no, we're good. 
Okay, yeah, so I'll still give final thoughts. Maybe I'll come back to this after doing some grinding in order to, like, bookend the end of the Let's Play by adding an extra part. But, yeah, so that was Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. How was it? It was really good. Definitely the con- or er, how I feel, and this seems to be a consensus if you like the- if for people who liked Hyrule Warriors. This is a far better game than Hyrule Warriors, but Hyrule- or er, yeah, original Hyrule Warriors is also just, like, very special as it's, as it's a celebration of Legend of Zelda as a franchise. But this is also really cool, which is how it streamlines a lot of the nonsense- um, you have to put up with in Hyrule Warriors. Everything is concise. You got a lot of missions. You gotta... It's a lot simpler to figure out than Hyrule Warriors because all you have to worry about is just, like, doing the mission. There are very few chances that can mess you up where it's just sort of like, oh, you didn't defend this specific post and this captain died, so you fail the mission. It's a lot better with how it controls, with how everyone plays. Everyone is, you know... Everyone is more unique than before, which is really cool. I will use this power for the good of all. I will protect the Okay, princess. oh, Zelda's winter clothes. Okay, I like that. I like her blue outfit best, but, you know. So what does everyone else have to wear? Hold on. It will be my honor. No, not Impa. It was I wish to keep Mipha, Mi Mipha's so champion garb. Champion oh, okay. Power. Okay. So it's just everyone with, like, a little sash. That's fine, but I thought it'd be a little more, but okay. Yeah, where's, uh... Oh, wait, no, not Riju. What am I thinking? Urbosa, champion garb. So just wearing, like, a blue skirt. Still looks good. I just want to see everyone else. Rivali. Yeah, big blue scarf. Daruk. Okay. Oh, then I suppose with Zelda, all we have to do is just unequip her outfit. And she evolves to her very good-looking blue. Okay, cool, but I like the winter. That's a very nice outfit. Hopefully there's, like, you, we can finally unlock more costumes for them or something, because Link's got some stuff he's unlocking, so that's fun. Yeah, <clears throat> but anyways. Yeah, but it's like, it's the customization. This is a very, it takes a lot of um, abilities and mechanics from Breath of the Wild and actually manages to integrate them into a Warriors game. And it does that with quite a bit of success. And it's just like a lot of fun seeing like these references to like places you'll see and visit in Breath of the Wild and then see like, oh, this is what it was like before things just got destroyed. And even though the story is a bit misleading or at least, you know, it's like, oh, it's a prequel to Breath of the Wild where it's, an alternate timeline, which makes me really sad for the base timeline of Breath of the Wild, because they just get screwed, like, you know, Zelda doesn't get any closure with her father, um, Taraka is not a thing, or, yeah, Tara Terako or whatever is not a thing, and so she's just like, she lost a friend as a young kid, and... Yeah, it's just sort of like, it's a different level of progression, but it is kind of cool to see those. I'm sad for the future timeline because, you know, they finally had the chance to, like, fix a timeline so the people they care about or are descended from can live on. But now in their timeline, Ganon seems to be on his way back even stronger than before. So there's a lot that's going to go down in the Breath of the Wild sequel, whatever it ends up being called, because we still don't know its proper name yet. Um, but... Yeah, but nevertheless, it's still, like, very fun. Not Nothing special for character interactions, some cute moments, mostly with, like, um, you know, Sidon and Mipha, um, Urbosa and Zelda. Um, you know, and a couple of other things. There were some good moments, um, kind of wish there were more. And Koga is fun, just seeing him fleshed out some more. I'm surprised Suga isn't playable. Oh, wait, at, hold on, I'm gonna double check. Okay, um, character listings. Um... Yeah, Zelda, Impa, Link, Mifa, Daruk, Rivali, going through. Yeah, all the characters we unlocked in the main story. Optional characters. Great Fairies, Monk Maz, Koshia, uh, Tarako. Okay, collect all 50 Tarako components by completing post-game challenges, then complete the Tarako Returns quest post-game. Okay, so, yeah, we can unlock Tarako as a playable character, and Calamity Ganon. Complete the versus Calamity Gallon challenge. This is a level 71 to 80 challenge post-game. Okay, so... Tyrell's Greatest Warrior. I suppose we have to beat a bunch of other challenges in order to unlock. But then we get to play as Calamity Ganon, and that's pretty cool. I want to play as that version. And yeah, that's it. You know, I guess that's all 
um, what is that, 18 characters, and, you know, it's a very small roster compared to other Warriors games, but it's so diverse, with so many characters with different abilities and different ways of using the same abilities that everyone else can use, and a couple of characters like Link and Zelda having multiple playstyles. <clears throat> and that was really cool, where, you know, you got your... You know, you got a sword and shield, you got a great sword, you got lances, and then you got flails with the DLC. This is also with playing with the DLC, so a bunch of other, more variety in a couple of places. But, yeah, the flails and everything, so Link has a lot of versatility with a lot of different feelings. You know, Zelda can use the Sheikah Slade in very interesting ways, and then the Sheikah Bike is really cool. And, but then she gets the... I joke that, like, oh, now that she's unlocked her powers, now she'll have a new fighting style. Well, she does, and it's really cool. And yeah, just like, they're, everyone has, like, a very distinct play style. It's not as repetitive as, you know, other Warriors games, I feel. As they have, like, their own weird mechanics, like, Sidon is kind of tight, more focused on timing. Um, has to summon support, and it's kind of like Impa's abilities, but they work differently. And, yeah, just, like, a lot of variety in how this all works, and it's really cool. Let's see, 4x4, 16, yeah. So, Taraka, or Terako and Ganon are the last two to unlock, which I'll probably get onto that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of feelings. Um, you know, despite how much I've been playing it, let's see, save, complete, 30, almost 34 hours, and that's been me grinding, playing for a few hours a night, or in the morning, doing after doing main missions to like do the extra stuff, to do side quests and do some grinding to unlock extra stuff, especially after um, this. Oh hey, oh that's right. Now that we finished the game, we can do these challenges because they were locked off until we finished the game. Battle tested guardian. Oh god, what do we gotta do? Complete EX alert Forgotten Temple. Okay, I was gonna do that one too. Vicious monster. Okay. And then I think once we finish that mission, then we can unlock a playable guardian as another playable character. So that's pretty cool. Forgotten Temple. Yeah, that's a whole thing. So yeah, I can unlock another guardian as part of the DLC. And the DLC added fun stuff like, you know, this whole tech tree, which makes post-game stuff even easier to do. Stronger um, Sheikah abilities, powerful new weapons, other things for like grinding and weapon management and, you know, the post-game missions, even though the vicious monster missions are kind of annoying. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just sort of like, it's a lot easier to figure out. I could see the, someone completing this, like, uh, completing everything in under 100 hours. You know, meanwhile, like, Hyrule Warriors, it could take you hundreds of hours to even, to, like, get to a place where you could start to complete. You know, like, um, famously, the completionist, Gerard Khalil, did his Hyrule Warriors videos. It took him, like, 250 hours to beat the original version of the game, but then when all the DLC was added, and all the characters, and all the other stuff, and all the mission modes... You know, his latest video, which was released a while ago, but it took him over a thousand hours to finish the definitive edition of Hyrule Warriors, which is crazy. And while it's interesting a game has so much content, quote-unquote, because a lot of it is repetitive, but I still enjoy it, but this, it feels so much more compelling just because I see it's possible, you know? <laughs> It's just sort of like, I could see myself completing everything on this map and 100%ing this game, you know, over the course of the next couple of days, taking it bit by bit, because, you know, it's a lot of padding and filler con content, but it's manageable, and everything you do contributes to unlocking new stuff and, you know, more stuff. So, you know, a couple more missions I can complete entire areas... And, you know, unlock new clothing items or new abilities. And, you know, everyone is apparently even getting stronger with um, enhanced abilities. So now they have... Uh, where? Yeah, like Urbosa's thing. Where, you know, now everyone also has, like, enhancements they can unlock. Enhanced ability. Yeah, and that's really cool. So, you know, you can change up the strengths of the characters even just a little bit by playing more of the game. That's really cool, and that's making me want to keep on going. So, yeah. Uh, I've got a lot more things to say, but, you know, it's just sort of like where to begin, because we're already <clears throat> way over. This is good, again, good I split this up. 
yeah, Astor was kind of a nothing villain. That's just kind of what happens. He's not even playable. That's weird. Maybe a DLC, because there's another DLC pack along the way, so who knows what that could add. Maybe not much, but maybe just enough for, like, another taste. Um, the Divine Beast missions aren't great. They're an interesting change of pace, and they can go pretty quickly. Nothing special. There's just, like, you know, it's cool to operate those things for a bit, even if they're, you know, very simple. Just destroy everything missions. And even though I played on easy mode, I felt like that contributed to, like, getting through this game a little quickly. Well, a little. But also, like, it seems like there's no, like, power increase or, like, item drop rate increase from going on a higher difficulty, so I'm not necessarily necessarily motivated to, so I'm not gonna bother. But even still, you know, the challenge, or just, like, the fun, at least for me, of just destroying everything in my path is still very enjoyable, so that's kind of enough for me. <clears throat> now, even though I've been mainlining this game quite a lot, and I think I'm done for a bit, I'll have to come back, yeah... I'll unlock the last few characters. That's definitely something I'm going to do, and we'll see where I'm at from there. But yeah, it's very interesting as, like, the, it gives you, like, a as you complete main missions, you steadily get, like, a flow of, here's some side quests to do more stuff. Here's bonus things to get more stuff. Here's a couple of things. Like, with a little grinding, you can unlock a new attack, uh, attack or ability for a character. And that's really cool. It kind of motivates you to just, like, take the time to start cracking away at missions. And you can just tackle the main mission line and be done with it. But, <clears throat> and, you know, if you tackle as many side quests as I, you know, a lot, most of the side quests along the way, you're going to be way overpowered for the end of the game. But you're, again, you're gradually unlocking stuff in a very fun way. And I had fun with this. I really did. You know? And, you know, despite some... I. I want to say falsities about like where it actually places in the story nevertheless I'm still kind of happy like this did good I think this did good in terms of sales so nevertheless it's just like a fun like more Breath of the Wild stuff if you like Breath of the Wild but you want to try like a different game style like this is a very cool like just thing to jump into on and off this is something you like tackle a little bit um, every other day or something, and you gradually make progress, and you will lose that time. And I found that enjoyable. So yeah, again, that's just me, but you know, I had fun with this. So I think we're gonna wrap up then. I could go on, but I think we should stop. So yeah, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it. It's, you know, Koei Tecmo does a lot better when they're using someone else's IP than when they're doing their own stuff lately. So, you know, they were able to take the really great conceit of Hyrule Warriors and putting a Breath of the Wild skin that, or, or the Breath of the Wild skin that goes, like, down to the bones. They did a lot to carry over to be oddly faithful to a completely different game style, and it's really cool. <coughs> okay, so with that, I guess we're going to wrap up. So, with that all being said, and yeah, maybe I'll finish up Tarako. If I do, I'll just insert it somewhere in the video. And we're back from the future after about another dozen hours of, um, yeah, I think at least I lost track, at least 10, or some on and off for a week, um, unlocking Battle Tested Guardian, pretty cool, play as a Guardian. Okay, after doing a bunch of missions, it was kind of a cycle of doing side quests and unlocking more character stuff and unique enhancements and everything, just doing tons of stuff, unlocking more and more missions. Like, you, the only missions I didn't do were EX ones, which I didn't feel were necessary for trying to put da put together Tar Taroka? Taroka? I forget. Anyway, it's been a bit. I don't even remember where I was at. But yeah, lots of missions done. Again, anything that's not an EX mission is done. And we got enough parts from doing some missions and for doing some other completion things to Taroko's. Yeah. Taraka's return to repair Taraka. Let's do that, and apparently this unlocks extra cutscene, true ending, and unlocks Taraka to play as. Which in turn will probably unlock more missions. I figure just gonna slot this in somewhere before the ending just to show this off. Yeah, I'm in agreement with Rivali. Well, come on, you. Wakey, wake right now. Uh, it 
Impa, gentle. <laughs> See, the slapping worked. <laughs> it just like lifts up one claw, <laughs> flipping her off. You better have been worth, like, the ten extra hours of gameplay. Boop -doop -boop. Welcome home, Terrico. Oh, he's playing the song again. Zelda finally has something good in her life. <laughs> At least this version does. I feel terrible for you know, Breath of the Wild, Zelda. She's in for bad, bad stuff. Don't mean to be a grump, we're gonna skip the... Welcome back, Tarako. Tarako, Guardian of Time, and just like, little mini version of him bumbling around. I'd play a mission, but we should wrap up. The main video is already way long, and you know, this is just like the wrap up. So, yeah, we unlocked Terrico, and, um, from what I've read... Yeah, and from what I've read, um, with him unlocked, it should give us access to... Basically, there's one more character to unlock, and it's Calamity Ganon, in his, like, you know, kind of like, um, Osiris Wrath state. Oh, boy. Holy crap, he's got a lot of things. I'm just gonna waste time giving you some upgrades, because now I'll have to test them out. But this will be the last part of the thing, unless new DLC comes out. The next DLC thing is like a story-related thing, or even remotely. Bonus combo, special attack gauge. Bonus combo. So yeah, lots of stuff to upgrade him. But, yeah, so we unlocked... Oops. We unlocked our little boy. Terrico! Aw, <laughs> blessed screw. Just a little tiny thing, probably like the smallest creature to fight with. So, I'll have to- I'll mess, definitely mess around with him and play some more levels, but, you know, we are- Okay, we'll do his training real quick, just for fun. Just test him out. Although I'm not doing it for Calamity Ganon if I eventually unlock him. Because there's probably a bunch of Terrico, mi Terrico missions. And then, just test him out. I wasn't trying to take make this last long. I figured, let's just check him. And there he is, back in the line. So, yeah, just doing a ton of missions between... It got really repetitive. Like, it started to really get to me. Just, like, all we're doing... Fighting Lionels. Fighting, um... Uh, Hinoxes. Fighting Guardians. And it's just, like, stronger and stronger. And many and many... It was just like, it got really exhausting after a while. And then just like, yeah, trying to upgrade weapons I don't use much in other characters. Whoop! Oh. She's just got a mini laser. No oh, jeez, just like Samus's uh, cannon. Whoop! There they go. Uses bombs. Oh, that's cool. That was pretty cool. Just. Laser to detonate the bombs. Suppose we're lifting up all the soldiers because they're also wearing metal. Didn't even think about that. Probably not the best time to use that. Just 
just the music of him just like doo -doo 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 -doo. oh interesting an ice cage that's pretty cool so yeah he's just kind of like a goofy character but you know considering the roster that makes total sense he's just like a cute functional whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, nice. Oh. Can we make these grow in size or? Okay. Wasn't sure if maybe the orbs helped us. Okay, sorry, we're trying to get through these guys fast. They're just, the numbers are thinning out. So yeah, this is just another fun character. So yeah, just playing as long as I did, it just, like, it does get... Warrior, the Warriors games are inherently repetitive, and, you know, despite how good a lot of the aspects of this game are, this version of Warriors, you know, when you really break it down, you're fighting the same big enemies over and over again with, you know, simple tells and, you know, very, yeah, simple tells and just, like, repeating ways to take them out. You know, Lionels will often do these combos, so get ready to use, you know, this mostly, it's use the ice, um, slate when needed. Um you know, maybe be ready for a bomb or something, but then you figure out, you know, if you get their knock your their knockout gauge open, just keep hitting them with like a time freeze. That will do a lot of damage to the top or to the gauge, and then rinse and repeat and you can knock them down pretty quickly. But even got to a point where sometimes even a destroying a knockout gauge would not do a lot of damage. So it's just like war of attrition well, I wouldn't even say War of Attrition, because I'm not in danger. And then just one mission that really ticked me off, where I was playing as Mifa, and I just, like, I did not come in prepared, so I just did not have the damage output to kill, like, almost 20 Guardians without time running out, and I just, that was really annoying. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did not many characters die there? And then, yeah, when unlocking new characters, it was also just, like, takes forever to whittle down. It's like, you know, early on, it's like, kill 200. Now it's like, kill 500 just to demo a character, which, even if you unlock a lot of things early on, probably doesn't have a lot of new skills. There we go, we still have to fight something. Rome! Yeah, you deserve to get beat up. You're the one who kind of did this. If you had just cared more about Zelda and her interests, maybe you could have stopped the calamity from happening. Because she, she wouldn't have been so down on herself, and she would have had a friend to help out. If not, I'm actually very interested to see if, like, maybe we see, um, Tarako in Breath of the Wild like, Breath of the Wild sequel, whatever. I really kind of hope we see, like, a version of Tarako, but it's, like, not addressed the same way. It's just sort of like, wow, that was a really strange Guardian. I wonder what that was. And then, like, it's never brought up again. Just, like, a little reference to Hyrule or Age of Calamity that just builds up to that. That's something I'm kind of hoping happens. Yeah, and there's also a bunch of stuff I could do with the, um, you know, the, uh... Um, the Guardian, the, the, whatever, the science lab stuff. There's a couple things I haven't unlocked there, which I don't really need, but should, just because. But, you know, for another day. I've kind of worn myself out on this. But yeah, oh, there's also Moonlight missions, wherever they are. Uh, Guardian Showdown. Yeah, fighting a bunch of Guardians as the little Guardian. That sounds adorable. I'm gonna do it later. Uh, but what it was nice is, like, as you unlock, you unlock... As you go, you're unlocking other things to increase, like, 
basically efficiency. So there's discounts for every shop after you beat the game. Um, oop. Yeah. You lock new stuff. You just things come together pretty quickly. And I'm really close. Yeah, like 89% completion. There's probably only a couple of missions left. If I just keep going, I think I beat Guardian Showdown. That will unlock 80 to, like, yes, or 71 to 80 or something. And then I guess when you beat all those missions, that's when you unlock Calamity Ganon. Which, definitely doing that off camera. I'm done with this for now. Oh. Oh, wait, no. Ah, shoot. And yeah, you unlock stuff for repeated use, and um, when you're upgrading the military camp, um, you can discount very much. Link's almost... Yeah, I bought all these levels, basically, for characters I needed for missions. If they needed a level for something, I would pay just for a couple bit more. But it's not that bad. See, I can get to Rocco to level 8. Let's give him to 75, just because. Should have done that at the beginning. And, but yeah, you can even get a bunch of discounts for the, you know, the training. So you can get a lot of discounts, and that makes leveling up and keeping everybody on par really easy. It's not like Hyrule Warriors, where you kind of have to focus on an individual character, and buying levels is so inefficient, because it gets so expensive. Like, really fast. But, you know, Taraco got him, like, you know, 20 plus levels for not that much. I could grind do certain missions and get a ton of that right away. Or, you know, I could get a thousand rupees, sell a bunch of bananas, and get a more level ups. It'd be pretty simple. Oh, and then you unlock Moonlight mi missions, which are like super hard versions of previous missions, etc, etc. So, yeah, there's plenty more to do if you want endgame stuff. So, yeah, gonna go back to me from the past to finish up the game, and we'll see if anything else comes from this in the future. But, okay. So, with that all being said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off, and thank you for watching me play Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity.